This conversation is taking place at the Schwartz Center for the Arts. I'm talking today with Sandra Connor. Sandra, the Schwartz Center is a real gem here in Dover. Tell us a little bit about its mission and its history. The mission of the Schwartz Center is to present quality entertainment to the surrounding area in Dover, as well as educational programs to our local schools and our patrons. Um, the Schwartz Center was originally built in 1904 as a grand opera house in Dover. It had many facets throughout the years. It was a um, vaudeville performance theater and then a uh, movie, movie theater and then it was refurbished in about 2001 and reopened as the Schwartz Center for the Arts. Could you speak to the, the range of programming that the Schwartz Center offers? Educational um, programs that we do here, we bring in um, live performance shows where we have school, school shows in the morning that are offered at a much reduced rate so that schools can come. And typically our shows are based around literature, um, so that they can do programs within their classroom before they come to see the live show. We also have a musical theater ensemble course that's going on right now. Um, it's about four month intensive learning dance, acting, singing that'll culminate in a uh, performance at the end of, in spring in the spring. And we also are doing this year for the first time a summer theater arts camp, which we're really excited about. Could you speak to the range of programs that are offered for the general public? Sure, we offer um, live performances throughout the entire season. We have a full series of shows. Um, we have anywhere from dance, classical dance ballet, to stepping, to um, uh, Celtic sort of dance. We also offer live performance with uh, live theater. We have. Um, the Walnut Street Theater is coming down from Philadelphia this year. Bands, country music, a, a whole range of uh, performances here at the Schwartz Center, as well as our local high schools put on plays and musicals here as well. Now I know you serve a, a wide range of audiences. What what do your audiences look like? Who, who are those people who come to the Schwartz Center? Because our um, shows are so diverse, we are able to serve a diverse audience as well. People come just from the Dover area, but they also come throughout the state of Delaware, from surrounding areas in Maryland and Pennsylvania, all the way from pre-K children up to your senior citizens. Now you spoke to, to performers coming from around the country. What, what, what's the range of, of geography that they represent? And internationally as well. We, we draw from overseas um, places like England and Ireland. We have some um, groups that are coming in this year. And all over the country, we pull from New York, we pull from D.C., we pull from California. We had our, uh, someone from Malibu earlier this year, a pianist. So yeah, we pull from all over the country, nationally known acts. You draw performers from around the world, audiences from the region. What is the reaction that you hear from people who have come to the Schwartz Center for the first time? Whenever someone comes to the Schwartz Center for the first time, I always hear the same thing. They say how beautiful the space is. They can't believe this you know, little gem is here in Dover, Delaware. And when performers come, that's one of the things they say too. When they walk on stage, they say, wow, what a great space. And even after performances, I get many compliments on the acoustics here and how beautiful the space is laid out and how well the show went. So I always hear really great compliments from people. Well, Sandra, thank you so much for joining us today and sharing the great work that the Schwartz Center is doing here in Dover. Thank you, thank you for having me.